So Mike, what did you think of the experience? Working as a receptionist in a beauty salon was really a surprise, I said, a genuine smile lighting up my face. Yes, I loved the opportunity. I could learn a lot about the feminine universe. Glad you liked it. Sandra, the owner of the salon, also loved you. It all began when I stumbled upon an ad for a part-time job at a local beauty salon. Intrigued, I applied, not fully realizing what I was signing up for. To my surprise, they were thrilled to have me on board, even though I had a slightly unconventional approach to the dress code. The first day was nerve-wracking. Dressed in a cute dress and a touch of makeup, I took my place at the reception desk. The salon buzzed with activity, and I couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and curiosity about this new world I was entering. As days passed, I learned the ropes of scheduling appointments, handling customer inquiries, and ensuring the salon's smooth operation. The atmosphere was vibrant, filled with the hum of blow dryers and the scent of various beauty products. I couldn't deny the joy that came with being part of such a lively environment. One of the most surprising aspects was the warm reception I received from both the staff and clients. They embraced my unique style and appreciated the diversity I brought to the team. It was liberating to be myself while contributing to the salon's success. After a few weeks, Sandra, the salon owner, approached me with a smile. So, Mike, what did you think of the experience? She asked. Working here was really a surprise, I replied, my happiness evident. Yes, I loved the opportunity. I could learn a lot about the feminine universe. Sandra chuckled, glad you liked it. The clients adore you, and you've added a special touch to the salon. Your positive energy is contagious. I left the salon that day with a newfound appreciation for the beauty industry and the acceptance I found within its vibrant walls. Being a boy dressed like a girl at a beauty salon wasn't just a job. It became an unexpected journey of self-discovery and acceptance in a world that celebrates uniqueness. Embracing my role as a receptionist at the beauty salon, I decided to make it a permanent part of my life. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, I found myself not just working there but becoming an integral part of the salon's family. One day, Sandra approached me with a proposition. Mike, you've been a fantastic addition to the team. How would you feel about taking on a more permanent position and, if you're comfortable, adopting a name that aligns with your vibrant personality? The idea intrigued me. I thought about it for a moment and then replied with a smile, I'd love that, Sandra. It's been an incredible journey, and I'm ready to fully embrace this role. And so, the transformation began. I chose the name Nancy, a name that resonated with the newfound confidence and joy I had discovered in this environment. The staff and clients embraced the change wholeheartedly, celebrating the evolving journey of Nancy, the vibrant receptionist. As Nancy, I flourished in my role, not just managing the front desk but also fostering connections with clients. I became the face of the salon, welcoming everyone with a warm smile and ensuring their experience was nothing short of exceptional. The staff at the salon became my second family. We shared laughter, stories, and a genuine camaraderie that transcended the conventional boundaries of a workplace. The vibrant atmosphere of the salon allowed me to express myself fully, and Nancy became a name synonymous with positivity and inclusivity. Over time, Nancy wasn't just a receptionist, she became a symbol of authenticity and self-expression in the beauty industry. Clients praised the salon for embracing diversity, and Sandra beamed with pride at the success of her unique vision. My journey as Nancy, the receptionist at the beauty salon, wasn't just a career choice. It became a testament to the power of acceptance and the beauty of embracing one's true self. The salon, once just a workplace, had transformed into a haven of empowerment and celebration, and Nancy was at the heart of it all, radiating confidence and happiness. Inspired by the acceptance and joy I found at the beauty salon, I decided to extend the transformation into my private life. Embracing the name Nancy became more than just a professional choice, it became a personal journey towards authenticity and self-discovery. In my private life, I started to dress and identify as a girl named Nancy. It wasn't just about adopting a new persona, it was an exploration of my true self. The cute dresses and touches of makeup that once adorned me only during working hours became a part of my everyday life. 
Nancy seamlessly integrated into my world, bringing with her a sense of liberation and happiness. Friends and family, much like the supportive community at the salon, embraced the change with open arms. The journey wasn't without its challenges, but the genuine connections I formed with those around me made the experience worthwhile. Navigating this dual identity as both Mike and Nancy brought about a sense of balance. Each aspect of my life enriched the other, and I found a newfound harmony in being true to myself both personally and professionally. The lines between the two personas blurred, and I realized that authenticity knows no boundaries. As Nancy in my private life, I discovered a sense of freedom and confidence that I had never experienced before. The journey became a celebration of diversity and a testament to the power of self-acceptance. It wasn't about conforming to societal norms, it was about breaking free from those constraints and living authentically. The support from the beauty salon community continued to be a source of strength. Sandra, who had witnessed the evolution from Mike to Nancy, applauded the courage it took to embrace this transformation fully. The salon became a safe space not only for clients but for me to express myself authentically, both in and out of the workplace. Becoming Nancy in my private life wasn't just a personal choice, it became a beacon of inspiration for others navigating their own paths of self-discovery. The dual identity merged into a singular, authentic self, proving that embracing who you are is a journey worth taking, no matter where it leads.